I've always taught it that you really should present your own fees. Uh, I don't tell, I don't do the financial arrangements. I let them work, do that part. Sure. Of it. But I yep. give them the fees, you know, and, and, and in my practice, I don't, I, I you know, it's my fee plus a lab fee. So yep, uh, we have we a do the same thing. About what lab do they want to use? You know, uh, and again, it comes, unfortunately, I, I tell most patients many times it comes down to budget. You know, how much money have you allocated and how much do you want to allocate to this? And everyone knows because we're in the middle of a remodel and the remodels, you know, almost doubled what the original estimate was. Sure. Yeah. And everyone has experienced that in their lifetime that, you know, sure. We'll go, oh, I'm going to go buy a used car. I think I can get that for $20,000, probably my used car. And you show up, it ends up being 30 for the one that you want or whatever number, you know. I don't know that dental schools do a good job in preparing us for that. And I don't know that most people are good at having those conversations that, hey, this is going to be, you know, 10,000, 20, 30, whatever thousands. So it is something that you got to train yourself. And Mopper was a big, big proponent of just, you know, hey, you know, like you said, I'm the one who's working for this. This is what it's going to cost for, for me to do it. But I very much like how you ask patients. And I remember that from Jimmy talking about what, what have you allocated? What's your budget look like? So we can figure out how to triage your dentistry. How do we put things in priority so we can get you taken care of? I think that's for those out there who are trying to get over that that hurdle because it's a huge hurdle for us in dentists in dentistry is to be able to have these conversations with the patients so that we can do complete treatment so we can do more complex dental treatment plans more than just single tooth dentistry and not be so reliant on insurances and and you know ppo programs and stuff like that it's a it's a skill set and you got to learn how to do it for most of us some people are maybe are good at it from the beginning um, i had to learn how to talk to patients about money for sure yeah absolutely